perish. This shit high, boy. situations where the stupidest things have happened to my car we obviously saw the gate randomly swinging into the lambo which easily you know could have been avoided i mean i was just putting my mail in the mercedes and i was going to walk back to the lambo literally would have only taken like 30 seconds or something and the incident would have wouldn't have happened C63 a couple years back I took it to court and somebody dented my passenger door and it got dented fairly badly I mean it was only like maybe this big of a dent but you could see it because the paint literally peeled off from the uh, you know somebody's door swinging into my car so not only was it dented and you could see it sort of uh, because of the paint being chipped but also based on the fact that the car literally had no dings on the body whatsoever so from the side you could easily notice that there was a ding uh, obviously you guys saw the Lamborghini wheel get chipped due to a pothole uh, what else I mean there's there's just the randomest things um, obviously uh, I haven't had that many issues occur but when they do occur it's always like the stupidest thing ever and unfortunately there's nothing we can do about it i am outside for the first time in several days actually and they have been working on the garage so i thought i'd come out here and check out what's been done this is the outside which is i think fairly similar to what you guys saw the other day i think they might have worked on the side and removed those pieces and then I know yesterday they were working more heavily on this door, kind of the cutout of it. But yeah, let's see. So I guess they've been working here. I don't know if this part was complete before, but I, you know, not sure. But yeah, the rest of it looks the same. I believe they completed what was missing over there. And it looks like they worked on the outlets and the switch, which I'm not going to touch. I don't want to get shocked over here, but yeah, I guess they haven't put that light on, but all the outlets are done. And yeah, and there's obviously supposed to be, supposed to be lighting out here, which I guess has not been completed either. But yeah, so a little progress on this side. Outside over here, pretty much looks the same as well. Obviously they haven't done anything on this end, which should be cemented. Interesting side view over here. It wasn't like that before. So that's interesting. But let's head inside. Okay, it definitely smells like that new wood smell that you would smell at Home Depot or Lowe's or whatever. So it definitely smells like that. I guess they might have done some work over here, but it looks really similar to what it was before. I'm not sure if this wire was dangling over here before, but yeah, I think they might have done something over here since I last came. And then, not sure if there's anything else going on. I'm not sure if this wall was ripped out. Don't believe it was. And then over here, 
I think they've done some work on this wall. At least I think, I think so. I'm not 100% sure, but I think it looks a little different. I don't think anything up here is different. Anything over here. So yeah, I think there's several minor changes considering yesterday they were here probably like eight or nine hours if not more i would have expected more done but regardless that is the update i think last time i came out here it was a few days ago and i know since then they have worked on it at least two two days if not more uh, so that's the progress in like two days or so now we head out over here to look at the cars I think I'm going to actually remove this because it keeps dangling in the wind and I'm a little afraid that it'll fly off, kind of like the other side did. Got the Lambo. Well, man, the, the good weather needs to be sort of continuous so I could actually wash this car since I don't want to wash it and then have it get rained on hours later or a day later, but it's definitely dirty it wasn't this spotty last time i saw it an update i do have on the bends is that i've actually been communicating with the dealer i bought it from in the bay so they're looking for other cars to sell and usually they spell they usually sell more specialty cars like amgs and stuff they've you know sold a lot of amgs they actually had a couple when i went there and yeah so they might be interested in purchasing it as you guys know or may know based on previous videos i have been thinking about getting rid of the bends there could be two different avenues that we take in one i just replace the bends for another car which would either be alpina b6 potentially a range rover but probably not it could be a bentley flying spur it could be a x6m um and I, I believe there's another car I'm missing, but I'm not really sure. So it could be one of those, or uh, depending on how things play out with the Lambo, I might be getting the Lambo uh, traded in and then have the Mercedes and the Lambo basically act as a down payment on a Huracan. So that's also a possibility. I'm not sure how things will play out, but we're kind of just testing the waters right now, seeing how things would work out what i'd get for it so on and so forth whether it's a private sale which it probably would be at the end or whether it's through this dealer that i bought it from that's willing to take it back and yeah we'll just see what happens obviously there's multiple different scenarios each of them would need some thought especially if i would be getting a huracan because obviously that's a lot more expensive than what i'm paying on the Lambo currently and the Mercedes, I haven't really calculated that out, but I mean, roughly, I'm sure it would be at least a little more expensive between the payment and the insurance. But yeah, we'll just uh, see how everything sort of plays out and I should have a more formal idea on it in coming days.